What up, guys? Garage Gamer here. So I am at PAX West with the Atari 50th Anniversary Cabinet Collection from Arcade 1UP. This is uh, some stock video that I filmed before the live stream. I wanted to get some nice, crisp, 4K quality video for you. And if anyone else wants to use this as stock footage, please be my guest. Here is the startup screen. So I did not show this during the live stream. It did take a few moments to load. So there you go. If you were interested in what the startup screen looked like, here you go. I know a lot of them are unique now. Um, my thoughts of this cabinet. So, you know, I came in with low expectations. I think this is a cab myself I'm not personally probably going to buy. But I see that I, th I think it's pretty evident that Arcade 1UP actually is listening to people about things and... Yeah, this doesn't replicate a one-to-one -one style original arcade cabinet, but uh, I think that's fine. And if they want to deviate and do um, a license like this with Atari, um, I'm totally fine with it. The Atari 2600 games are just added bonus. Um, these were never probably meant to be in our in our arcade, but. You know, I, I, I see the value of playing something like this on your Arcade 1UP just to bring some diversity and you want to play different games on your machine sometimes. And with the amount of games they added on here, I think that it's a great value. Um, and yes, no, it doesn't come with some of the other hard-hitting titles I would have liked, like E.T. or any of the Activision titles. I'm a big fan of the Spider-Man game on Atari 2600, Star Trek. So it's not going to have any of that, but these are all original Atari games. But for what it is, I think they did a good job. The screen looks very crisp and and a nice there i saw there were comments that there was they thought there was some bleed in or wash out on the sides uh, it's very it looks very good guys i think what we're seeing is the lights here in the auditorium packs uh, in seattle it's it's kind of it was very hot and there was a lot of lights everywhere flashing um that's all this is it the screen looks great um, I guess my concern is like for this Atari 2600 game, it should have that, like the neutral zone here in Yars Revenge should go all the way to the top. Maybe they need to stretch the image. And maybe I didn't fool around with the options. Maybe there is a way to uh, stretch the image. The front of the, the front of the cabinet looks, looks, it looks clean. I like actually how they put this uh, certificate right in the front. And then the light-up corn doors. I don't have a cabinet that does that yet, and I haven't modded any of mine to do it, but it's great to see that Arcade 1UP is actually just going to put it in there as a stock feature, and you don't have to go out and do like a separate mod kit to light up the coin doors. I really appreciate that. I also really like the speaker grills on the cabinet. The T molding, it is gold. I thought it was silver at first with the, with the lighting, but it's a it's a it's gold on the edges. It's got volcano buttons for player one, player two. They probably could have lit up the trackball. I'm not sure why that wasn't a possibility for them. Maybe uh, in a future model they could do that. And then the spinner, guys. The spinner is excellent, and everyone remembers that original Asteroids. Arcade one up that had the really crappy spinner and I just remember seeing video after video talking about that one and I had the original I had the Atari 12 in one original one it had the same spinner and I think everyone went out and bought uh, the GRS spinner and plugged that in there and it was a major upgrade and I think arcade one up did listen 
And the spinner is, is actually doable and it's free spinning. In my live stream, we went over more of like Tempest and shows that, you know, it shouldn't be that clickety clickety on the spinner. It just be, should be free spinning. The marquee is vibrant. It looks like it's been double printed or something. It just looks natural. And the blacks on a marquee, there's it's very obvious on the original ones where there's like black, like say the Terminator 2 arcade one up. If they do it wrong, it, there's going to be some bleed and splotches with the light. This looks very crisp. It looks like an original arcade cabinet, even though I know it's not original. For the included Atari games that are on the cabinet, I think it's a, it's a solid list. I mean, it's got Asteroids, it's got Centipede, it's got Major Havoc, it's got Tempest. For $499.99, yeah, uh, I could see myself, you know, if it drops in price, I'd maybe be a buyer more at $400. But we'll see if it actually does go down in price. Uh, right now, this is available only at Atari.com. Cyrus did say during the live stream that he's expecting it to go to other retailers. And if you are interested, be sure to put in for notifications on this cabinet at Arcade1up.com and you'll be first to not be notified. I'm sure people in the community will be all over it uh, when it does go to other sites. And I'll try to myself post it on my social media feeds if I see it happen. Also, I want to say I think I would have been even more interested in this cabinet had it not been for Digital Eclipse's game that came out last year about the, uh, the Atari 50th anniversary collection that came to Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, I think it's on Steam. That collection is something else. They really put in the whole kitchen sink in that one with history of Atari, the complete history of Atari, uh, behind the scenes stuff, um, how they, the rise and fall. With this cabinet, there's, you know, you get none of that. So at the very minimum, guys, if you're a fan of Atari and you haven't picked that up, please do because it's something else what Digital Eclipse uh, was able to do and it looks like they might be doing that on f future releases as well. Yeah, yeah, Hopefully I'll be able to that's, talk that's to awesome. Digital you know, Eclipse uh, at an upcoming con here. Right, well, I'll be back when you but Definitely. that's uh, much cheaper. <laughs> so I believe it's probably 30 bucks, maybe cheaper than that. Again, here's the spinner. The spinner is really nice and I'm not BS on you when I say that. It feels good. It feels like a solid piece. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. It feels like it was made to last in a real arcade. I also really like the light up buttons and how you can turn them on and off. I remember those original arcade one ups that had the light up deck protector and it just looked cheesy. And I, I've still got mine with NBA Jam and the Marvel Superheroes. It's got that weird light bleed on the deck protector. This looks solid. And I think they did a good job. So whoever did the control panel is good. There was a couple games that the button layout, like there's that three buttons on one side, three buttons on the other. They're not exactly mapped like the left side isn't exactly mapped like the right side. So you do have to check the game. Uh, one of the games, like I was surprised the top button of the three did nothing. So it's almost like they should have assigned that button to do something, at least mirror the other side. Maybe they can do that in a software update. And that gold certificate looks good. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I've got more videos on the way from PAX and Nintendo Live, so be on the lookout. The dream is dead.